Morning! So, today I'm going to, in between drying times of bodge and a cup of teas, uh, I'm going to, oh, I don't put my halos in the Volvo. I want to put halos in it forever. Really, the short, the sort of spec to have halos with them, but they didn't come with them. So I'm, I'll quickly show you. Ooh, I can turn my camera. This is sorry, this is a new phone. I've got a Samsung S10. E, Kim's old phone. You can turn the camera on without pausing it. So you can see there. You would think that would be a halo. It's not. It's just a lens. Nothing behind it. And the side was there. I took it out. I don't want it. Um. Whoops. I need that. Ugh. So I'm going to be fitting, um, if I can get it out, come on, here you come, this is awkward, there we go, this, and it is a switchback so it does white and amber for your indicator, don't know whether I'm going to run the indicator or whether I'm going to run it solid amber or run it solid white, or yeah, I, just, I want to see what it looks like on the other side when it's in. So I pulled the light out, I pulled my bulb out, I've got HIDs in it. Aftermarket HIDs, you can see there, they run through the back of the thing. Uh, the cap, which makes a pain in the ass to take the headlight bulbs out, but it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to take up this, and move this out of the way, and this is going to come out. And hopefully, I should be able to slip the halo in there where you can see the lens is. I've got no idea what I'm doing, but many people have done it, so surely it can't be horrendously hard. Let's give it a shot. So, projectors, dude. Also, with these things, the Volvo is notorious for having headlights like candlesticks. Um, but if you take your, head, your projector lens out and clean it, make sure all the dirt's off and the crystal clear, that can help a lot. I did that with mine when I first got it. And then I put night eye uh, LEDs in, and then I've recently gone to aftermarket HIDs because I really don't rate the, the night eyes that I think they're pers personally, I think they're crap. But yeah, I've gone to uh, HIDs, and the beam pattern's so much better. You can actually see a beam pattern, and they're brighter and they're crisper. The LEDs just give light, and that was a good day. I've got one halo done. I had to actually resold the wire back on because one of the earth wire came off it annoyingly. As you can see there, I've sold it back on and thingied it, but there you go. What I've done is I've put it over the top of the, the hoogie, the projector. It's a, a 90 mil one, if anyone's wondering. It's a 90 millimeter, and it, I've just buzzed off. There's a couple of tags that were in it. Hold on, can you see them on there? There you go, you can see the little tag there. Just buzz them off flat, push that on nice and gently so it's flush. That's gonna go back in the headlight and rewire it up now. There you go, so now the projector's back in. I've got the wires run to the top so I can tie them up nice with the way, stay cool. Um, obviously I don't run my sides, so I'm gonna use the earth and the power feed from the sides to run the white in theory I might run it as the amber depends whether I like the amber as a flasher um, and then obviously tee off my indicator which will be this side I'll figure it out in a second I think it's this side one yeah um, and run that off for the other one so I can run it runs as the uh, repeater so hopefully to see how this goes because I yeah can't be that hard surely. So first wires in, I've split the thing with here. Obviously not scotch locked it, scotch lock, band scotch locks forever, box them off, they're useless. Um and I've pulled the pin out. Can you see it there? This is a really nice camera for filming with. And I've just put it down the, the positive side and soldered it in. So that's gonna go back into there. I'll just push that bar back out, push that back into there. And repeat the same with the earth and then need to do the side repeater so that's soldered in those two are soldered in that one's soldered in i hope it's the right one pretty sure of them I, i've checked it and i'm pretty sure that one's for the, the indicator because you can't actually get to the plug of it because it's this type of one where it clicks in like that i don't click so yeah that's soldered in i just split that wrapped it around soldered it on uh, wrap it up with tape and yeah let's get my bulbs in and go and test it in a second when it stops raining heavily because it's just started raining really heavily headlights back in i gave up waiting for the rain because it's still raining so i'm just inside let's do it off the uh off the key 
didn't know, press the little yellow button, it gives you put your sides on. There you go. That's the white one, see, see that's what it was like. With no halo, now with a halo. And then I've also got the side markers in as well. I'll run them. Some people take them out, I like them. Oh, so if I unlock it, then. Oh, hold on. There you go. And I'll put the hazards on. You can see. Whoops. Hazards on. It looks a lot more out of sync in the camera than it does in person, but it is def it is a lot more in sync than it looks. So yeah, I think that's pretty cool. There we go. She's she's done and dusted. The halos are in. They do look really well behind them. That's how they should have been. Like this should have been spec like that instead of having side light bulbs. It should have just been spec with a halo. Companies do these things, don't they? There you go, that's both sides. And then I will show you the. Um, and there we go. With the hazards on. Like I say, it, it is a lot more in sync in person than on the camera. But I quite like that. I think it's cool. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Winner. Time to go over and back and. Uh, See what the next job is to do on it. If you liked it, subscribe, like, all that stuff. You know, the stuff that helps me to expand my channel. And uh, yeah, catch you next time.